Welcome to another episode of Plant Mom Diary. Today we are going to be um, starting a bonsai starter kit that I ordered from homegrowngarden.com. And I chose to order this on my birthday because I have really been wanting a bonsai tree. But I love growing things so I wanted to see it grow from seed. So included in this kit is this beautiful brochure that breaks down each of the bonsai tree seeds that come in the kit. Then on the back it gives you directions that I would highly suggest you read thoroughly before beginning. So we also get these like bamboo wood um, labels and we get the cute little cups that we're going to put our medium in. So this is the medium that came with the kit. And just like I do with my other pellets, I'm going to put them in this tray here. And then we're going to add whatever um, ingredients that they tell us to add to it. And this is going to be our seed start medium. Now when I do my seeds, I just buy the medium in the bag already. So I'm just reading the instructions here. And it's telling me to add two things that it sent in um, the package. So, the two things that I am going to add, and don't mind my Twizzler. I absolutely love Twizzler. Who else loves Twizzler? Leave a comment below because I love Twizzlers. Anyway, so I'm just organizing everything and then... We are going to add some good old warm water and we're going to allow our pellets to just absorb the water and turn into the medium. Okay. So, we got a nice little break here. I'm just basically reading the directions again and it's telling me how to prepare my soil. So it came with two packets of nutrients. We had a, like a sea kelp packet, and then we also have a perlite packet, I believe. So here, I'm just gonna let you watch the video. I'm not gonna talk your head off, so please enjoy the video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you have any tips or kind advice for me, please leave it down below in the comments, okay?
I love the idea of these pellets, like these compressed, um, I forgot what this stuff is called, but in it with coconut soil or something. Anyway, I love the idea of them, but it takes some of them so long to absorb the water. So for this one, I went ahead and just started breaking it down by hand and just slowly adding water until all of it had finally converted back into the um, sea star medium. But yeah, sometimes it just gives you a really hard time. I don't know if they're just old or what's going on. But that is one of the cons to using these. It's just that sometimes they do not absorb the water as well as you need them to. But anyway, we're gonna make things shake like we always do. I'm adding water again and just mixing it up. So again, I'm gonna let you watch the video. I'm not gonna talk your head off. Talk to you later.
So I have individually wrapped each and every one of my bonsai trees. So we're now going to sit them in their plates, which these are just going to collect like any water that drips off and it's going to also help the um, pot create humidity. And then I have them all on a heating mat because um, I believe that trees or bonsai trees or these trees that I'm planting like hot environments to germinate. So I'm just showing off my other um, seeds that I planted. They germinate on the heating mat as well. But I'm going to let this sit here and then um, I just wanted to show you all this booklet that came with it as well that gave you tips for a successful germination. And it just tells you about the good temperature, which it actually says 70 to 85. So that's why I put it on the heating mat because my room is not 70 to 85 and it's not going to be. Um, it also gives you tips on what to do after germination. Sorry, I had to unfold it. I only have one hand. So yeah, this gives you really, really, really good tips and instructions on what to do. Like right here, you see the sewing instructions. And then it tells you what to do after germination. So just make sure you read through the booklet very well before you start. And then um, you should have success with this. So I'm not going to spoil it just yet. I'm going to let you watch and just continue to come back for different episodes so that you can see um, whether this is successful or not. So these are the four seeds that I planted and it actually goes down and gives you some details about each of the plants, what they like, what type of environment they like. So just stay tuned and I will be sure to keep you updated.